Three years ago when I was in high school, I spilled an entire cup of Dunkin' coffee on my car seat, on my brand new car, and I never told my parents because, you know. Um, so here's my little green machine getting all the coffee out of my seats. Three years later, it smelled awful. Yeah. Showing what we find at the bottom while cleaning out the 10,000 block foam pit. Got a life hack for you. Tired of bending your precious back to clean your nasty shower? Well, keep watching for the tea. Get a mop from Dollar Tree. Use it only for the shower. I'm only bending my back to stay in the frame, but it works. I promise. I'm a housekeeper and I will give you the best cleaning hack of your life. Get this brush or something very similar from Target. You're going to get Dawn dish soap and vinegar. Yes, I say vinegar weird. Don't make fun of me, okay? Once you're done, you're going to take it and put it inside your shower. You know where this is going, right? Now, once a week when you're putting that hair mask on, take your little brush and wash your shower while showering. If you're going to follow any of my tips, please let it be this one. Like and follow for more. Here's how to clean up glitter. One thing I found that works really well is cooking spray. Spray a layer over your glitter mess. Just over the top, not directly at it. Grab a dry paper towel and sweep it all in one direction. This picks up a lot more glitter. After each wipe, fold your paper towel or grab a new one. Clean each area in one wipe. Once all the glitter is gone, finish up with some soap and water. That'll clean up the cooking spray and get those last few pieces. For soft surfaces like carpet, use a lint roller and make your own with heavy duty tape. Wrap the tape around your hand. This works way better than getting glitter stuck in your vacuum. And just like that, problem solved. Can you spot my mistake?
roots. Tip, make sure the valve is shut. I guess I'll have to make a part three. Mi nombre es Vanessa y trabajo limpiando casas. Y a mis clientas semanales les traigo flores frescas, nuevas y hermosas y preciosas todas las semanas. Déjenme les cuento un poquito de esta clienta. Esta clienta se llama Ángela y ella tiene cáncer terminal. Por eso es que les digo que es tan importante que no juzguemos la vida de otras personas. Quizá ustedes puedan ver aquí y digan, ay, ¿por qué tu clienta te deja un mugrero? ¿Por qué le organizas el cajón? Eso es extra. ¿Por qué ella no recoge sus zapatos? ¿O ponerle las toallas en su lugar? Eso no es parte de tu trabajo. Y tienen razón, no es parte de mi trabajo. Pero déjenme les digo, no hay nada, nada que yo no haría por esta clienta. La voy a papachar. Alright, this is probably the worst hot tub I've had to work on. There's literally slugs, spiders, the water's black, and the smell is just disgusting. It's not been used for a couple years, and it was turned on the other day so the water was warm. So what I'm going to do is put the pump in and jet it down as it's draining. Hoover out all the bits at the bottom, then fill it back up clean out underneath, there's a lot of leaves in there get the filters cleaned up, I've got some cartridge cleaner spray that on now it's filled back up, I'll get the hot tub flush get everything running, all the jets, pour it in down the skimmers let it run through for about half an hour you see all the dirt coming out of the pipes drain it down again, hoover out all the little bits start filling it back up and that's job done. Holly your boy for the pool work.